How to fix Apple Pencil not charging? Restart the iPad. Sometimes a simple restart can fix your device issues. If your Apple Pencil doesn't work due to a glitch or a bug on your iPad, a restart will eliminate them. After the restart, when your iPad boots, connect your Apple Pencil again and check if it starts charging. Check the Apple Pencil connection. When the Apple Pencil is charging, it's best to keep both devices on an even surface because an uneven one, like a couch, can interfere with the connection. It's best to put the iPad and the Apple Pencil on an even and smooth surface for best results. Also, make sure the pencil is fully plugged into the iPad or aligned with the edge. Leave the pencil to charge for some time. If you didn't use your Apple Pencil for a long time and the battery is all drained, it might take some time for your iPad to show it's charging. Let the pencil charge, and after about 15 minutes, you should see the charging status. Charge your iPad. Usually you would be able to charge your Apple Pencil even if the iPad is low on battery. Still, this option might not be available for various reasons like minor glitches, the iPad OS version, or other problems. So before charging your Apple Pencil, make sure the iPad is also charged. Check if the iPad port and the pencil connector are clean. After some time dust will accumulate on the Apple Pencil connector, especially in the iPad Lightning port. If you're having pencil charging problems, clean both the Apple Pencil connector and the iPad port. You can clean the pencil connector with a soft cloth. Be careful not to damage the connector. To clean the iPad Lightning port, Take a non-conductive small thing like a toothpick or a very small and soft brush and take the dust out. Reconnect the Apple Pencil. Open the Settings app on your iPad. Go to Bluetooth Settings. Make sure Bluetooth is turned on. Next to the Apple Pencil connection, tap on the information icon. Then, select Forget this device. When asked if you want to forget your Apple Pencil, tap on Forget device. Now, restart your iPad. When iPad boots, reconnect your Apple Pencil. For the first generation Apple Pencil, insert it in the iPad's lightning port. For the second generation Apple Pencil, attach it to the iPad's edge. Tap on the pair button on your iPad screen to connect the Apple Pencil. Update iPad OS. Go to your iPad settings. Then go to general settings. At the top, tap on software update. Wait while your iPad searches for updates. If found any, tap on Download and Install. Check your iPad and Apple Pencil hardware. If nothing helps, the issue can be related to the Pencil hardware. All the above methods targeted software-related problems. If they didn't help, take your Apple Pencil to an authorized center to check what could be the issue. The problem can be an old battery, mechanical damage, battery discharge, or there could be another issue. Hopefully, this video provided the information you were looking for. If you're using a Mac computer, we would like to suggest scanning it with Combo Cleaner. It will check your computer for malicious software infections and advertising supported software. The Disk Cleaner option will scan your computer for app caches, logs, downloaded files, and files still sitting in the trash. It will also show you how much space what files to take up on your Mac. Combo Cleaner will also help you look through all big files on your Mac and delete those you don't need. You can also scan Mac for duplicate files. Sometimes you might not know that you have a few copies of the same file. A privacy scanner that will help you remove cookies, cache, browse history and more. And an app uninstaller that will find all hidden app components and uninstall them for you. You won't need to worry about viruses and clutter on your Mac anymore. Thank you for watching. If you found this video helpful, please consider subscribing to our channel.